Hello everyone, this is Game Trooper 1138 and welcome back to what will be the final video of Dragon Age 4. Oh, I just gotta feed the RHD. position ballistic He's not getting a chance to attack either. Do! Do! Any more of those, I need to get in position. I never thought about using that while we were on, the, on our side. Three dwarves left. You too. Up with the general. I'm going to get the other ballistica in position. That way I don't have to deal with it later. Oh, shit. 
That's another one. Only one dwarf there, and it's questionable. I could call in the Dalish elves, they could help attack them from a distance, and whenever we aren't dealing with them, they can attack the arch demon. Which one is that list of one? Oh, 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 give me that shit! Give me that shit! Give me that shit! Give me that shit! Give me that! Oh, it's broken! No! No, it's broken! Shit. I don't know how to fix traps. I don't- none of us do. So if these things get broken, we're screwed. I've learned a lot. Oh, shit. You've lost low gain. About to lose Stin. About to lose her again. Damn. I just learned about this stuff. Another one. And more dark spawn coming. I need you to get yourself healed.
ahead and uh, take that one. Might as well. It may take me longer to shoot it, but it's more effective. Dude, I didn't know the ballistic guns could. Damn, I wish I knew that. I wish I had known that. Oh man, I wish I'd known that. Only we can get the other two back up. I don't think we can. But I think I think we finally got all the dark stuff. I think. But there hasn't been any more. Uh oh. Dude! Why did I not think of this the first time? Use the both the pretty much weapons of war. That was a miss. I could see it from a mile away. Now that one hit home. Almost. Almost. <laughs> Tally ho! Fight me, bitch! There's another one! This why I'm here. It's my duty as much as yours. We're both great wardens. Perhaps, but why should you be the one to die? You're the reason this creature lies defeated, not I. My joining the Grey Wardens was a death sentence. If I survive the joining, it seems only fitting that it can be because I was destined to perish here. You want to take the easy way out. Nothing about what I've done has been easy. We fought together, but we're not friends, nor should we be. Allowing me to take this blow in your stead should cause you no remorse. Please, I have done so much wrong. Allow me to do one last thing right. I'm sorry, but I have to do this myself. Shit. Hell yeah. But I'm dead now. And then was over. 
With the archdemon dead, the Darkspawn horde quickly crumbled. Most fled back into the deep roads. They would remain a threat in the years to come. But the blight had been ended before it had truly begun. Elden had been saved, and the entire kingdom rose up to joyously greet its queen. Grey Warden stood redeemed, and a new age had begun. But at what cost? Hmm. But at what cost? What do you mean? Ah, my death. My friends, we are gathered here to pay our respects to the Grey Warden that saved us all. He gave his life to destroy the Blight, and that is a sacrifice we must never forget. It was no accident that he was there, either. He was special, and each of us had our life touched by him in some way. Some of you were his friends and companions. Some of you he helped. It was his word that put me on the throne, even though he barely knew me. I am grateful beyond measure. The Grey Wardens could not have asked for anyone finer. How does one properly honor someone like that? The Grey Wardens are building a magnificent tomb at Wisehot next to that of Garahel, but I believe more is required. Fergus Kuzlan, please step forward. Hey, it's my brother! We were very pleased to discover you alive. You were thought to have been killed at Ostagar. I only wish I had recovered from my wounds sooner. Fergus, the High Everlands are restored to you, in addition to the Amaranthine Arling that was Arl Howes. Your Majesty, I would like to give Amaranthine to the Grey Wardens. I think that would be fitting. Let all know that the Arling of Amaranthine, once the land of Arlhau, is now granted to the Grey Wardens. There they can rebuild and hopefully live up to this example. Friends, let us hope that he has gone on to a better place and that he knows just how thankful we are for what he has done here. Now, we bid the hero of Ferelden farewell. He will be sorely missed. And the months that followed her condemnation, Nora proved herself an adept ruler. Trade agreements with other lands quickly brought new funds into the royal coffers. With them, the queen saw capital rebuilt, the army restored, laws were passed to encourage freeholders to produce sufficient harvest, and plans were conceived for a university. As the years passed, Nora continued to reap off the advice of Ferelden's nobility, requesting that she remarry. So prospective suitors from other nations visit Denera from time to time. The Queen's only comment is that all of them fall short of the bar she measured against that of her father. So my maker. News that the urn of sacred ashes had been found in Ferelden did not spread outside the Chantry until Brother Genitivi made an announcement several months after the defeat of the Darkspawn. The manuscript detailing his research and his experience with Andrasse's cult drew huge interest among scholars throughout Thedas. Some years later, the Chantry announced that the resting place of Andraste's ashes had indeed been found. They were located, however, in ruins that were also the lair of a high dragon, thus proving too dangerous to approach. Many made demands to secure the ashes so that the followers could undertake a pilgrimage to partake of their healing power. Following numerous failed attempts to deal with the dragon, the beast finally flew off to find another haven, but leaving the mountaintop sanctum in ruins. An excavation found no traces of the earth. 
People began to doubt that the ashes had ever been found, while others claimed that a cult of Andrasse's followers stole them from the temple. Still others say that the Maker himself removed the urn, deeming mankind unworthy of it. For now, what happened to the urn is simply unknown. Following months of effort, the Tower of the Circle of Magi has finally cleansed of the last spirits to slip through the veil. No further abominations were created, and First Enchanter Irving was pleased to declare the Circle safe. All that could be saved had been. With the slavers shut down in the alienage, the lot of the city-born elves improved for a time. A huge shortage years later forced Queen Anora to come down hard on Elven riots, an act not quickly forgiven and a sign that tensions between elves and humans were far from equal. Well, shit. Shinani continued to be an outspoken member of the alienage community and in time became the new elder. That outspokenness earned her frequent trouble but served her people well. Al Eamon returned to Redcliffe, beginning the long task of rebuilding. They found the village already bustling and eager to leave behind the memories of those terrible nights facing the undead. Connor was sent off to study at the circle, and considering his earlier experiences, he excelled in his training and easily passed the home to become a full mage. At his father's urging, Connor accepted a position in to undertake formal study of the thing. The Dalish elves prospered at the siege of Denera, having earned much respect for their part in the battle. But once human lands welcomed the wandering folk, the new keeper, Lelena, was respected both amongst the Dalish as well as the Ferelden court. She was the voice of reason. The other Dalish clans would turn to her to help resolve disputes with human folk. Time, many of the Dalish clans moved to the new land provided for them in the south near Octagon. Wary of their human neighbors, however, tension soon rose again, and only Keeper Lelena's leadership kept peace alive. In Orzammar, King Harmont quickly put down Balin's rebellion and then passed a series of laws to please the clan lords. Unfortunately, that isolated the dwarves even further from the circles. Caste restrict restrictions and the rights of the nobles both grew, and trade with the human lands was all but cut off. Ah. Ah. So, I'm going to take a guess, but Balin, he probably would have done the exact opposite, and dwarves would have more interaction with people outside. After a law excluding the castless from common areas the city was passed, a rebellion saw the slums reduced, practically to rubble. Although outrage was widespread, the assembly remained united behind King Harmont. The dwarven mage Dagna ultimately completed her studies at the rebuilt circle tower on the surface. Eventually, she published a comprehensive theory of how lyrium vapors relate to the supply of magic. He gained a great deal of attention. This inspired mages from other parts of Thetis to establish a new circle of magi in Orzma itself, one that had ready, one that had ready access to dwarven lyrium, and lies outside the Chantry's power completely. The willingness of Orzma to harbor apostates sparked outrage that began whispers that the divine was contemplating a new exalted mark. It was not long before Bragna mastered Caradon's technique, learning how to use the anvil of the void to create new golems. The first in many centuries, the dwarven people greeted this news with cheers, though few knew of the cost. Initially, King Harmont was more willing than to provide volunteers for Bragna. The golems were sorely needed to crush Balin's rebellion after all. They did so with success, but eventually, Harmont declared that no new dwarven souls could be used on the outdoor. Unending need for golems in the deep roads. However, 
gave rise to secret surface raids to kidnap humans and elves for the mad Paragon. Probably should have killed her. When the when this came to light, a brief war broke out between Osman and Ferelden. The gates to the subterranean city were sealed, and Haramont's kingdom became more isolated than ever. Brachna insists, of course, that the raids on the surface continue. True to her word, Morgan vanished the same night she made her offer at Redcliffe Castle. Someone of Morgan's description was later seen traveling alone, heading west through the Frostback Mountains. And she may never have, and she may even have been with child. Well, we did have one night. Unless she found Alistair. Whose child it might be is unknown. Some whispers that the witch was once the lover of Anthony himself. Either way, the ritual was never completed, and there was no word of her after that. What a great warden! Anora was as good as was. Anora was as good as her word. The Arlene Amethine was given to the order, and a new headquarters established there. A statue of Anthony towers over its. Memory of one who made the ultimate sacrifice so that others might live. Anthony's remains were transported to the full honor guard to the Grey Warden Fortress of Westerbach in the Ar in a Underfell. There they were installed. They were installed in the tomb alongside those of the four others who gave who have made that same sacrifice to the Pete. Gwyn remained in service to the throne of Ferelden for a time, politely refusing the position of first enchanter when it was offered to her. After almost a year, she quietly collected her things and announced that she was journeying to see more of the world before her time came. And then she was gone. Sten bowed once before Anthony's remains and then left without a word, returning to his homeland. His honor had been restored. And when fellow Punari asked if there were worthy people outside Parvalin, Zen would answer that in all his travels he had only met a single one. I'm about to fucking cry, that's fucking awesome! Argrin accepted a position as a general in the army of Ferelden. The first dwarf ever promoted so high and eventually both sobered up and married. Nice. When his first son was born, Argrin held him in his arms and wept. Named him after the friend who had changed his life so long ago. Did he name him Anthony? Shell left Ferelden, presumably headed for the fabled library of Menorotis. Reports suggest that she got into an altercation with an influential mage there, there and was driven out. She swore bloody vengeance. Zevran traveled for a time, trying to remain as far from the crows as possible. When they finally came for him, Zevran elected to take the fight to the doorstep, returning to Antiva. After four master assassins disappeared, the crows readmitted Zevran as their leader. He was never sure if that was a victory or defeat. He got both ways. Logain remained in the Great Wars, pressed into service as the primary recruiter in Ferelden. He performed dignitously for several years until finally the taint wore too hard on his aged body. After a solemn service with his fellow wardens, Logain traveled to Ozamar to take his final march into the deep roads. Alistair was true to his word and did not return to the Grey Wardens. He was last seen before the siege, hiring a Rivani ship to take him out of Denmark. An attempted coup to overthrow Honora a year later borrowed Alice's name, but no proof of Alice's involvement was ever supplied. A haggard, drunken man was seen at a tavern in Starkhaven, bitterly claiming to have once been a great warden and prince, but drunken men are not so rare. As the blighted lands began to heal and the great warden slowly rebuilt the order in Amaratine, they discovered that the fight against Darkspawn was not yet complete, although the whole, although the whole was routed and had dissolved upon the Archdemon's death, 
many of the more powerful dark spawns survived to organize roving war bands that preyed both upon land and upon each other. These war bands spread havoc and some even journeyed west into Orlais or across the shining sheet by the deep roads. They proved incredibly difficult to wipe out. But these are tales for other heroes. The tale of Anthony ended when he sank the blade into the archdemon's head and destroyed it forever. Whatever follows, the sacrifice will not soon be forgotten. Awesome. So, okay, 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 okay. So, that means with Dragon Age Awakening, I'll be creating another character, right? Because from what I'm to understand, Dragon Age Awakening takes place after this. But, since it's going to take place after, it means that my character is dead. Not alive anymore. My character died. Which means I get to create a new character. Campaign, which hunt for. Wow, we got. Okay, well, I might do some of these others another time, but right now I just want to do Awakening. So we're going to go ahead and get started in Awakening. Create new character. Gonna make him a dwarf. He's gonna be a rogue. And he's gonna he, well, I guess he has to be a great warden. Oh, I hope did you guys hear that? That was my shoulder. Grey Wardens were once exiled from Ferelden for conspiring to overthrow the king. They were permitted to return 20 years ago by King Marek, Kaelin's father. Greetings. They're gonna name him Marcus. I want to give him where he has hair on top, but then the side is shaved off, you know? If that's the actual hairstyle in here. This game did come out in 2009. That's about... Mm, Mmm, that. Can we even, like, see his eye color? I know I had to dumb down the graphics and stuff. I have no idea. Greetings. Oh, my spell. My weapon does nothing. Charmed, I'm sure. Greetings. Greetings. How do you do? Greetings. 
No, it is gone. I should do something else. Greetings. Oh, my spell. What does it take to kill these things? You're in my way. Goodbye. Okay. Assassin, Bard, Ranger, Eulis. Eulis are deadly combatants who prefer to fight in light armor and strike with light, but for slight attack, these creatures would have three natural reflexes that allow them to evade their killing blows. Clumsy blows as well as using their light intuition. Ranger! Rangers have an affinity for open country and will protect independent scouts and militia. They are opportunists. Not stewards of nature. They exploit every advantage of their environment and can lure wild beasts to attack their prey. What the hell? Mm, we do Ranger and Duelist. Alright, we got 62. <laughs> Someone's got to have two. Five, and I'll have two next week. Hmm. There we Bear summon spider. Hopefully I'm making uh Well try normal. If it becomes a problem I'll bring it back down to easy. Now that I know So this may be the last video of Dragon Age Origins, but this will also Demon, the blight was defeated be the beginning of awakening. But the dark spawn did not simply disappear. Most of the horde scattered north from Denerim towards the coastlands. And there fractured into warring tribes. Mm -hmm. The region fell into chaos as the dark spawn emerged from hidden lands to terrorize the countryside. As the new Warden Commander of Ferelden, it is your responsibility to rebuild the Order and deal with the lingering threat. You have come to Amaranthine to join the rest of the Grey Wardens at Vigil's Keep, once home to Arl Rendon Howe, but now property of the Order. 
The lack of a proper welcoming party as you grow close, however, indicates that something is amiss. What's going on? Why are there no wardens here to greet us? Something is wrong. Quickly, Commander! <laughs> All I got's a bow and arrow. That's a bow and arrow. It's you, isn't it? The new commander. Oh, thank the maker. Where are the other wardens? There was someone right behind me. Mage. He might have been a warden, I don't know. All I heard was screams and people dying. I got out as fast as I could and ran into these. You need to help them. You need to do something. How do men not spawn all there? I don't know. Hundreds. The wardens didn't sense them until it was too late. And then they were everywhere. I'll see if I can't find some help. There has to be a patrol on the road. You'd better you come back, lad. Time, Commander. The dogs. Yeah, hold on. Right. <clears throat> the dark spawn launched a sneak attack. That's on the air now. This isn't a blight. How could they be so organized? I don't understand. Perhaps something else is leading them. Other than an archdemon, you mean? Frightening thought. Who is in command here? Varel the Seneschal. He is the keep steward, I believe, working for the wardens. Nice sword work. You're not just a guide, are you? Oh, pardon me, Commander. I'd assumed proper introductions would be taken care of at the keep. My name is Myrie. I was a knight in the king's service until I was recruited a month ago, but I haven't taken my joining yet. The Seneschal sent me to bring you back. I was not expecting this. Where are we exactly? This is Vigil's Keep, which once belonged to Arl Howe. Ah. Amaranthine was given to the Grey Wardens after the war, and this is our new seat. Hey. Let's get moving! Right, let's teach these evil bastards a lesson. Hey. Let's see, damage 640. Oh. More trouble. <laughs> Holy shit, there's an ogre.
Oh! Oh, is that all you've got? Do this for a little bit. I will say it's kind of awesome to get to create another character. <laughs> Potions. That's cool. It's almost like having Danny back. Oh, what became of Danny? We never talked about my dog. Overwhelmed. How did the wardens not sense the darkspawn coming? I don't understand it. How many wardens are here? Not many. A dozen, perhaps. There are other soldiers who came with them, however. For the darkspawn to have ambushed the keep so effectively, I didn't know they were capable of such a thing. Oh, yes, sir, to gather a clue. Yes, Commander. I'll try. I don't need you to fall under pressure last time. Oh, I need to remember to give you a healing potion. 
be a good time now. Can I switch? I don't know why it's like that. Was it like that before? I do have injury kits. And, oh my god. I need it. I need these so bad. Oh, soul rock tree. Okay. Dude, I'm already I got already got trapped and shit and everything. Injury kit. Stamina elixir. You are armed with crossbow. Okay. And that's it. You are fully prepared. Dude, how come we never found this in Origin? Nice. Uh, I didn't do it. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm not broken up about them dying, to be perfectly honest. Biff there made the funniest gurgle when he went down. Um, who are you supposed to be? I am Anders, at your service. Mage and wanted apostate. An apostate? At Vigil's Keep? You weren't here when we arrived. I'm sure I would have remembered such a lovely woman as yourselves. We were just stopping here on our way back to the tower. Just a short rest, they said, and now they're dead. Such a shame. Those men were Templars. So they kept saying, although come to think of it, there's no real way to know for sure, is there? The Templars captured me and were taking me back, and then, you know, Darkspawn attacked. Could be a sign. Very convenient sign. Isn't it, though? The Maker moves in mysterious ways. Well, tell you what, I'll help you and we can discuss what comes later. Later, once all these bastards are properly put down, yes? Understood. You are a shapeshifter, a spirit hero, and an arcane warrior. Pick one of these. We'll go with Arcane Warrior. Training. Herbalist. An expert combat tech. Magic. Cleansing aura. I 
to make sure that everyone's got when it comes to mates, make sure that everyone's got one. Any good spells. Really help. Good, he's got mind blast. potions or lyrium potions or anything yet. Why is the other characters? I need to. Oh, we're scared now. Don't come over here. Ha! It's be. It'll take more than that to kill us, beasties. Come again if you dare! Very nice. to safety quickly we need to get out of here why you're you're you are just as bad as Stan go as far away from the rest of the group as Oh, 
Holy crap, we got a lot of work to do for you. Well, fuck. Care of these guys, or you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? I've done it long enough. We'll save it for next time. Yes, yes. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Wow, pretty epic! Pretty epic. I'm looking forward to it because after awakening, we're gonna move on to two. <clears throat> After 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 this one, we're going to do Dragon Age two. And if there's any kind of like in story DLCs, I'll probably do them. I don't know about all of these in this one. I know Dragon Age Awakening is a story continuation. I don't know about the rest of them. I have to look into that. If they are, I may include them in this. If not, and it'll be something I might do another. Time. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to like and subscribe. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought about this video. And be sure to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when my next video is uploaded. Thank you all so much. I'm your Game Tripper 1138. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>